Hey guys, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel. Happy New Year. I am so glad to have you here. Today I thought it would be a good idea, since we're now in the beginning of a new year, is to go ahead and just talk about what my goals and intentions for this channel are and kind of open it up for kind of you guys' suggestions as well. But anyway, if you're interested in hearing my rambling, just keep on watching. So in the second half of last year, I made a lot of changes in how I was focusing my channel and how I was doing my videos, and I'm liking the direction a lot of them are going, so a lot of those things are going to stay the same. For example, I did a lot of project panning, especially in the second half of last year, and that will definitely continue. I have a few projects coming up. I will, of course, be continuing the Pan Those Eyeshadows. I have a Pan That Palette that I'm going to be doing, Face Palette, Project 10 Pan, a couple of things here and there. But hopefully I'm not going to get myself too overwhelmed right away with the project pans. I do also intend to continue with my BoxyCharm. So as long as I'm getting BoxyCharm, I will be letting you know what products I'm getting, what my thoughts are about it, which ones I finished. I do plan on doing empties videos still. I do plan on doing favorites videos each month. There are two things that I started last year that I was really enjoying and that was my collection update as far as like how my collection is changing in size and then also my low buy and I do plan on putting those together into one video from here on out because that made so much progress for me. I had kind of as a recap, I went 801 products down in my collection total size over the course of the time I was tracking all of that from March to the end of the year. And I was also had a low buy going on where I was finishing 10 products before I could earn a credit to buy something new. And for eyeshadow palettes, it was a little bit separate. Whenever I had five eyeshadow pans, that would let me buy a new eyeshadow palette. So those two things working in conjunction had really helped me kind of curb my spending, really enjoy and play with the things Things that I have and I have slowed down getting things in my collection by a lot since taking those things into account. So as a little bit of a recap last year I did finish 177 makeup products. My pan percentage was just over 2% I think it was like 2.06 or something like that. I know it sounds like a very small number but I have quite a large eyeshadow palette collection so I was actually quite proud of it. I hit 31 pans. 17 of them I believe were hit through my pan those eyeshadows that I started in June so I made a lot of good progress there. Before that I hadn't really hit any pans except for in my pan that palette that I had started in January. My collection is 801 items, pans, brushes, whatever, smaller than when I started doing that count back in March. So I have made a lot of progress in a year and I'm very excited to see where we are going to go this year. Of course, after redoing my eyeshadow palette list, I had to adjust my pan percentage because one of those palettes is completely empty. It is now gone from my inventory, so that is six pans that I can no longer count. I also took out another palette that I had completely used up one shade and hit pan on two others, and then I had depotted the rest of it, so I took that out of my inventory now. So my pan percentage is back down to 1.69%, and I think my goal is by the end of the year I want to hit 5%. I know for some people who are up at 12 and 17% that's like but for me that's where my goal is right now and I feel like with a lot of good intentional work and really loving my collection I can do that. And in addition to using my collection and rotating through doing shopping my stashes I feel like I want to try to do those this year. Not sure how well that's going to go but I want to also be very intentional about which brands that I do support in the coming year but it's gonna be a process. I have a ton of stuff. I'm not gonna declutter things just to declutter them just because they're a certain brand, but I will be more intentional about what I bring into my collection this year. Over the next few weeks, I will be introducing all the project pans that I'll be doing throughout the year. I'm sure other ones like seasonal projects will pop up throughout the year at different points, but stay tuned. I've got a lot of fun, exciting projects coming up. Another thing I plan on doing this year is following a beauty budget. This is kind of inspired by Sarah Rose where she had allotted herself a certain amount of money for beauty and for fashion and I'm gonna do the same thing. My number is gonna be a bit smaller. I'm putting $500 towards beauty, $500 towards fashion and fashion will also include anything that I want to do for like decor and including jewelry, clothes, things like that. But the caveat there is one, my numbers are smaller because I am not including my BoxyCharm towards that total. That's already kind of included in what I'm paying $500 is on top of that, but also I'm going to be giving myself fitness and lifestyle and wellness goals that I can earn more towards my budget, if that makes sense. 
I cannot believe how much this little channel has grown and changed and evolved since this time last year and I'm so excited to see where we are this time next year and I know numbers aren't everything but Haley said it best I think every time one of you gals gives me a kind comment or somebody new subscribes and lets me know hey people out there like this content it feels like a nice big hug and I really really appreciate you all and I want you to know that thank you so much for joining me today I hope you are staying healthy and safe and in good spirits and just thank you for joining me on this little journey here and if you have not already and you are interested in lots of project pans and makeup content then I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing, and I hope I see you all in the next one.